This next tutorial is an idea to show you how to get out of your comfort zone and try something new with a sample that might lead to a creative breakthrough, something you weren't expecting to happen actually. So I've got a just a quick little idea of a sketch using my voice as kind of a synth line. So kind of a cool, interesting thing. I would have never come up with this had I used a normal synth or anything like that. So what we've done here is I've just copied this same sample, which is this wonderful sounding audio file. Hello, this is Matt Saletti. So I just kind of enunciated my voice in interesting ways. And what we're going to do is use the mod wheel on our keyboard controller to manipulate how we can work with this sample. So for instance, first thing you need to know is you come to your sampler. I've got mine set to a polyphony of one, so hello. It'll re-trigger every single time. And you can leave it in one-shot mode, you can have it in ADSR mode. Hello, 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 hello. Or whatever you like. But what you need to do is come to the end here, the last page, which is often forgotten about, it's so far away. And we're gonna set this to mod wheel destination where we have control over the sampler start, cutoff, LFO depth, and panning. So if we go ahead and adjust our start to 100%, now we can come into the sample, hello, 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 and start to manipulate it with the mod wheel. And so once it's loaded up, hello, hello, we can simply use the mod wheel. Hello, hello. this is Matt Saletti. And it will adjust, and you're not going to really know where it's going to stop. You're just kind of musically moving the mod wheel in a certain way. And this can be, have drastic results depending on how big or narrow your start and end points are for the sample. So for instance... And you can adjust and play with it from there. So let's even just use the whole thing and let's try to make something cool. Let's mute group A. And I'm actually going to just use note repeat oh. to get a bunch of samples in here. And let's go from there. So you would obviously not want to use this, but now we can start adjusting our mod wheel and maybe come up with something cool. So it sounds okay, but you know, obviously the further you go, uh, obviously I might do multiple takes of that. I didn't like that one necessarily. And this actually might start sound good if you kind of come in and add other effects.
Who knows? Play around. What I find is I usually have it, I sometimes try with long samples, short samples, and uh, just moving it around is going to give you something, a different perspective on it than just simply, oh, I don't know, going in and adjusting a start and end point with your mouse where you're you're visually looking at it too much instead of maybe listening to it. So worth a shot. Uh, this was probably not a great example I came up with. I would keep working on it, but you know, the first time I did it with this one, something magical happened for me. So play with it, enjoy, and see what you can come up with.